Hi, 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 hi. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? It's Sunday for me, and it's nice. It's a very sunny Sunday. I spent my whole morning in my yard playing with my boy and listening to music and gardening and everything I could think of. It's a tiny little face, but it's mine. <laughs> okay, so this is, hold on, do you have an enemy? Okay, this is a request. Someone wants to know what, you know, and perhaps y'all do too. Okay, so what are your enemy's intentions? Okay, so do you have an enemy? I don't know. I mean, who really has enemies? All right, I mean, people have them. But if you have one, you clicked this video. So if you don't have one and you clicked this video, I'm not going to say this is like a secret enemy because that's not what this is. This isn't about secret enemies. This is about like a known enemy. I'm still going to identify the person. But if it doesn't resonate with you, it might be something that's happened to you in the past, with a past enemy. Because not everyone's actually walking around with enemies, you know? I mean, I, I like to think that. Whatever, I'm rambling. But yeah, so we're going to identify who your enemy is and what their intentions are towards you. Like, almost like, what's? I guess if this was like a rival, it's like, what's their next move? Something like that. So, <clears throat> let me get you some options to pick from. I think I'm going to go with gems. Okay. Oh, this one's really pretty. Okay, so this is amethyst for option one. <gasps> My earplugs are dying. No, this is gonna go bad. I'm gonna have to do one of those rotating ones. Oh, so terrible. Thought I let them charge long enough. Whatever. Anyways, then option two will be ooh. It's really, really, really sexy, all right? Pearly looking, really, 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 really pretty. Tiger's eye. It's really pretty. I'm liking that one a lot. No, that's amethyst again. It's a huge amethyst, but no. I'm not doing too good. Oh my God, amethyst again. Where'd that go? I see it. It's my sweater. Okay, we got something different. All right, this one's carnelian or red jasper. No, it's carnelian. So, make your pick. We got purple, gold, and orange, I guess, if you want to go by colors. And then the timestamps are below. It's dark. Is it dark in here? No, it's not dark to the camera at least. It's dark in here right now. The sun went away. Wow, there's a bunch of clouds. There was not a freaking cloud in the sky when I came in the house, which was like 20 minutes ago. So don't mind me. I'm dingy today. Well, I'm <laughs> like I'm dingy every day, damn it. But no, I'm not. I, but today I'm, ex I'm extra dingy, I want to say. I'm extra frumpy today. There you go. That's a little more polite. I'm extra frumpy from all the messing around. It was warm. I couldn't help myself. It was nice and sunny. Right. I'm from Miami. And I'm in Canada. So when that sun is out, it's like, ah, you know, like, I want to turn the music on. I want to lay in it. I want to, you know, I'm supposed to avoid sun because I'm a pill. For the, you know, the medicine tells me no, no sunlight. Makes me a vampire, okay? But, I mean, I wasn't in direct sunlight, so that's good enough. That's about as much as they'll get from me. Spend half the year under a winter coat, so it's like, I'll be fine. I keep me away from the sun. Ooh, the creator. Interesting. What are their intentions? Something with something you create. Eyes.
I think I got my window open. If you hear any children, it's just because there's a lot of kids around here. They're outside, they're having a blast. It's a nice day. Okay, I don't know what their intentions are, but they're going to make action. They're taking action on something. What was I going to do? My ear? No, it hasn't been long enough yet. I don't want to forget that because it, it messes up my audio and then I have an echo. I can't stand having an echo. It drives me nuts. It's like, you know how hard it is to... It's very hard to, to first, you know, express and say everything I'm thinking and make, a, make it make sense, first of all. And then to have it be echoing while you're talking, it's like, holy shit, oh my god. My brain goes in so many circles, it's like I can't, no, mm -mm. I, have to be very, I have to really remember those earplugs. Harmony is upside down. This one I don't need a chunk for, I just need a quick shuffle. drink today. I don't know. Pull that out and see. Hopefully it works. Cut. Try not to forget. <clears throat>
Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, I'm back. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Okay, so this is, let me get my card, hold on. This is, what are your enemy's intentions? Or what is your enemy's intentions? You know, you have an enemy? This is what I'm going to try to see what their, you know, what their intentions are with you. You know? I don't know. And if you don't have an enemy and you're just watching this for funsies, this might be something that happened in the past. Or it might be something that might happen in the future. It might be a past enemy or a future enemy. Okay? But for the ones that specifically have an enemy and came here for that, that's, you know, that's maybe first and foremost. Okay? So option one is we're going to identify who they are. And then we're going to identify what they're trying to do, like what it is they're, what they're doing. So the first one we have is Amethyst. Okay? It was a really nice, pretty one. It's got a little black in it. It's a little smoky. It's a little burnt. <laughs> okay, so then this one is the tiger's eye. It's really, really, really sparkly and shiny. This one's really nice. I like this one. Okay, and then option three is the carnelian. Okay, this one's really pretty too. It's like a pinkish orange. I like it, and it's got a lot of white in it. Okay, so those are the options. Go ahead and make your pick, and I'm going to get started on option one. Okay. Whew. Option one. What are your enemy's intentions? Who is your enemy and what is their intentions? We got the amethyst. It's got like a slit in it. It's a little banded. It's got it's got some like quartz in it, you know? With some smoky quartz, I wanna say. So you might be someone that smokes, or maybe you used to smoke. I don't know. But maybe you're and that's it, we're trying to identify your enemy. Regardless of what you do, okay, this person is a smoker most likely, or used to be a smoker, okay, and they could be an Aries, someone that's very creative, I want to say, they might draw, write, or paint something with their hands, okay, they might be religious, we have temple, and it be someone that has like or just maybe a Virgo, I want to say Virgo, because they might be a Virgo and with harmony. <clears throat> Someone that really takes care of their health and their body. Like they eat healthy, things like this. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So this is maybe a Sagittarius, too. We have Aries, Sagittarius, and I want to say Virgo. Temple and spirit, though. So, yeah, they might have some, they might do, like, yoga. Things like that, meditations, something with spirit, retreat, something about retreating. They retreat, they disappear, they take off. I don't know. Oh, maybe they're on a retreat, they're letting go of something. I don't know what they're letting go of. Maybe they're letting go of being your enemy, I want to say, because I'm not really getting any intentions towards you. It does say over there that it's time to take action. So if they do have an intention, now is the time that they're going to try to take action, I want to say, on it, you know? Trying to make sure, trying to rotate these things. Okay, so letting go. So some of them might be letting go of it, or some of them might be taking action. Maybe you're ready to let it go. I don't know. Someone is ready to let something go. Feet. Something about the feet. It's making me think of Pisces now. So they might be a Pisces. So many zodiac signs. Like I don't even ever think of zodiac signs. We haven't got sunshine over here, so there might even be Leo. You know, with Creator too. So yeah, it could be some Leo. Child, this could be your child. These do look like children's hands. Or this could be your parent. Take it out, it resonates. If you don't have children, it's your parent. And if you have children and you don't really talk to your parents, it's likely your child. Are they an enemy? I want to say they don't really feel like they're an enemy. They need clarity on things, I want to say. Okay, we have the key with a sweet asylum. So this is making me think of someone that 
keeps things to themselves, the creator, and then sustainer underneath. Yeah, like they hold it together, okay? Like there's someone that holds holds things together. And we we have harmony with Aries, so it's like there is some type of static. So this this isn't like a actual enemy. This is likely just someone that you live with that is like someone that you're not very um like maybe you don't get along with them like a like a brother or a sister or something like this because we do got chill children. So it's like you could be brothers and sisters, relatives, something like this. And we have the lady card. The lady card with a gift. So you guys might come from a wealthy family or something like this, like, or something with gifts. This might be someone that gives you things. They might want to give you a gift. Because I'm looking at the bigger picture and harmony. I'm telling you, I think they're, they're, their, I think their intention is to come and take action towards you to let tell you that they're letting something go. Like to, 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 to yeah, for the, this is going to give them uh, clarity, answers. Like with the key, it's going to give them answers. With Sweet Asylum, it's going to give them mental clarity. And they want harmony with you. And they're like ready to do that. Like the creator, like they want to create something better. I think they want to they, yeah, they want to look at the bigger picture. Like this person has maybe looked at the bigger picture. It was in reverse. So it's like they might have been acting immature. You know? All my cards are reversed. But yeah. The Lord, yeah, they're ready to act more mature. Lord with the temple and the gifts. Like they might want to give you something. Not for sure. Maybe just like a token of friendship. Feet. Maybe they want to go for a walk with you. Okay. Child. Yeah, this might be your child. Or this, oh, with Lord and child, this could be an ex-husband. You know, a past relationship, a baby daddy, something like that. You know? Because we, look, come on now, we got, could be, you could have two children with, you could, like I said, it could be relatives. It could, it could be a family. Okay, we got two babies. And a, and a lord. So it's like... Something, you, you know your situation, okay? And then we got despair. So that's what I'm saying. Sweet asylum and clarity. Bright paths of understanding will open. So it's like, this has been bothering them. They've been, I think they've been wanting to let it go. House in reverse. So maybe this is someone who used to live with you, house with the keys. I'm telling you, it's some type of family situation. And someone moved out, maybe. And this is someone that moved out, and you think they're your enemy. And I don't think they are. I feel like they're just trying to be nice and harmonious. And they're just, I want to say they're just focusing on their body. Because we have the temple right in the middle here, and it's so green and, like, alive. And not angry and very comforting, almost, you know, like. It's very chill. It's like plants, like hanging out in a garden or something. Like, and they're taking care of the temple. So it's like this person sees that there's a bigger picture than whatever you guys were going through. And, I'm, and maybe something happened with their health. And they're like, like I'm letting all this go. And it's, it, and I don't want to be sitting in a state of despair over it. Okay. They want to, I don't know. This is, like I said, that's just someone that you've lived with maybe. We got this. It's more Pisces. So there might be a Pisces involved. So there's Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries. And Leo, King of Pentacles. So maybe just Earth signs. We got everybody on the table here. That's why I usually don't bother to mention it because it's really no point. But um, yeah, I think this person is just riding the waves. I want to say riding the waves. This person must have a lot of emotions with the Creator card. Okay, and Sustainer. This person has to like hold in a lot. You know, this person must, you know, not, not suffer from depression. They could, but not necessarily. This is like a spectrum right now. So it's like, they could just be someone that, that, that deals with, that is just generally sad about something right now. They're going through something maybe that's got them down and they're just, they're just trying to ride the waves. Like they're just trying to, to navigate, you know, through life. I want to say through things, they, they see a bigger picture. 
So I don't know. I guess having you think that they're an enemy. So maybe they've put you under the impression that they were. But maybe in that state's bothering them, I want to say. Health. Okay, we got the health card. Puny. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're focusing on their body. Okay, maybe something with dancing. The feet. It's making me think of all sorts of things. Okay, with feet. I'm picturing all sorts of feet doing all sorts of things. Okay. Focus on all parts to make the whole. So I'm saying that's more like look at the bigger picture. They 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 take their health as the bigger picture, first and foremost. And yeah, they want to make this clear to you. It'll settle their spirit. I want to say heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. So this person is like not after you like that. They wish you blessings. I want to say they wish you. They wish that you have all the assistance from your angels and guides in life. Like they wish you the best. I want to say while they retreat, they're this. They're they're retreating. They need clarity and things like this. So if they're not gonna, if they if they don't talk to you, this is what they're up to. They're just retreating. Okay, spoil yourself in the morning mist. Breathe in nature's sweet scents. So as I said, they're just taking care of themselves. Like I said, with these little plants here. In the, in the front it makes me think of someone enjoying themselves in a morning mist like it's you know like almost doing like some type of yoga outside you know just having fun and things like that happy feet that's what's making me think of happy feet like penguins maybe something with penguins i don't know dragonfly you bring light to this world so i feel like that's from them to you they're saying that you're a bright person like, I feel like you helped them kind of begin this. I want to say path to, because we do we got the path of understanding, you know, bright paths of understanding will open. So they're saying that basically you were like a bright path. You helped, oh no, which one died? Shoot, I think it's this one I'm on. Yeah. I don't know, because they're doing them. Hold on. So yeah, they're saying that you you were very bright and you helped them like find this path to focus on their health. Like you helped or you're helping them on their on the on the path to help or you've helped them. Not their path to help, their path to health, getting healthier somehow. You've helped them. So they're saying you're very bright for that. It's very, very good. You're very you're a very bright person in this world for doing that, you know? And then we got growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. So it's saying, you know, like they're they're trying to grow and they want you to grow from this. They don't want you to be angry from any of anything that's ever happened with y'all. They want you to let it go like, and they want har harmony. They don't want like um they don't they want peace. This is what's making me think of peace, peace, you know. They want peace. Okay? And that's all I got for you. Now what are their intentions? I want to say they want to take action to 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 explain this to you. But if they don't, it's because they're just busy retreating and still gaining the clarity, gaining the understanding of how to, to say this stuff to you, I guess. Because at the end of the day, they want to just let they, they just want to let it go and grow. And even if that, I guess, even if say you guys were like some type of friendship or a boyfriend, girlfriends or something, you know, some type of relationship, even if it's like growing apart, they don't want anyone to be like angry because they're just trying to, I want to say they're just trying to heal and and focus on their health because something was to happen to their health, okay? Yeah, that's brought them down. It's made them more, made them, like, I want to say made them down and depressed, letting go, like, ugh, you know what I mean? So that's that's basically it. Well, I hope you enjoyed. hope that brought you some insight and clarity and understanding, okay? And you have a great day. Great Sunday, I want to say, okay? Okay, option two, the tiger's eye. Okay, this is making me think of boxing because it makes me think of Rocky. It always makes me think of Rocky. Tiger's eye always makes me think of Rocky. Sorry, I have to rotate my ears because they're not fully charged. I was just doing some music all morning with them. Oh, shit, this one's dead. Okay, we're on to that now. Sorry, we switched to that. But I'll try not to make any noises so the sound doesn't get in and out. I'll try to keep my pitch normal. But I can't promise that. So, 
do you have an enemy? And they say, I don't know. And um, what are your enemy's intentions then? So if you click this and you have an enemy in mind, I want to tell you that they could, who are they? They could be an Aries. And I want to say someone that you've met recently on the path. Fault line. I guess trying to take action. So something about like, I want to say charging, crossing the line. So you might have recently crossed the line with someone. I want to say this person is, um, who are they? I want to say they might be a woman. Not literally, just a woman figure, feminine energy, something like that. And then when an outcome is forecast, so this person's not going to be able to actually do any of their intentions, whatever I might uncover here. I'm going to have clarity. I'm going to bring some clarity into your situation here. And when when outcome is forecasted, so it's like they're not going to really harmony, harmony, you know, like they're not going to be able to bring harm to you, I want to say. This person's not going to be able to harm you. Trying to take action with Aries, it's making me think of how an Aries is like, they pop off, but then they're calm. So it's like, this person might be someone like that. You know them, not me. But if they're not, I want to say that, yeah, no, they're fire breathing dragon, dragons. Oh my God, this person. Okay, no, they're not going to, I want to say they can't cause you to harm your win win outcome here with spirit. Retreat. You ran away from this person. It was time to take action, and the action you took was to leave, run away. I want to say retreat. Okay? You took off somewhere. And they're like trying to call you back. I want to say, lady, that's like some drama. But it's right next to gift. Okay? Look how this lady's like calling towards gift, like asking for things, wanting things. Gimme, 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 gimme. Right? The ring behind it. So this could be someone you were married to. But either way, this is um, someone that, that wants things from you all the time. And it's like kind of crossing the line. And I guess they're an enemy of you. And they, they, what are their intentions for you? I don't know. I guess to take, 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 take everything they can from you. Because it's, it says it's time to take action. But it's time to take. Like this isn't a harmonious person, I want to say. But when when outcome is forecasted so that they this, this is someone that you have to go to court with or something like that they're saying spirits got your back you have heavenly assistance from your angels and guides right now okay you, something about the path you'll understand soon the understanding like it'll the, the answer is just what's underneath the key okay what's this the key of asylum okay so the answer is, you know what I mean, that you're looking for, it, it's going to come to you soon. Like, understanding. You're going to understand all this. It's going to open up. That's what it says, you'll open. So, it'll ha it'll happen soon. You're going to, you're going to, something's going to reveal. You're going to get an answer about something. I guess that's what's going to happen. This person's going to cross the line with you. Or this person did cross the line with you. And maybe you had to say something. And now, they're not very harmonious no more. They're, they're like a whole other person. I want to say. Study. Yeah, maybe you've been paying attention to this person and you've been wondering, are they an enemy? You know? Okay, the pri their sexy private thoughts about you. So this is, this is someone that you, um, you might have been romantic with. Out. You might have, uh, you might have lived with them or been to their house. Okay, but what are their intentions? I want to say they want to have sex with you. With Aries, it's time to take action and their private sexy thoughts about you and studying in house and fault line. I want to say this person wants someone that they don't want to fuck you. They have some sexy thoughts about you. They want to cross like a line with you. They, they think it's time to take action. But why are they not very harmonious though? I guess if you don't give things to them, they're not very nice. So they're like, that's what, that's what it is. It's not an even exchange. This is someone that, that um, wants to give you, give you, um, I want to say sex and sexiness and sex appeal and give them, you know what I mean? Yeah, be creative. <laughs> they can give you anything. They could be giving you 
nudes. They could be giving you blowjobs. They could be, I don't know, but they're doing something. And it's to get things from you. It's like sugar daddy, sugar mama shit. Okay? So, is this person an enemy? I mean, I guess so. That's pretty fucked up. I don't, I don't know. That's how some people are, though. And some people like that. Some people like that sort of behavior. I find it dysfunctional for both people. But, um, that's still their business. My opinion is my own. You know? Sunshine. So, something about a Leo. Yeah, this person might be a Leo, or they're just, they're very creative, and they might, um, you know, like a lot of attention, and it's a, a lot of attention, okay? They might drive fast, too, like if there's someone that drives a fast driver, they're an enemy, okay? Study, they've been studying you, so it's like they know how to work you, I want to say, they know how to work you, they know, they, you know what I mean, they, they know what to do to get what they want from you. So whatever you've been giving them, and you think you're getting things back, I mean, maybe that's the game you like to play. I mean, if that's the case, this isn't really an enemy of yours. This is just probably someone that can be really nasty if you don't, if you don't play the game with them. But if you're not someone trying to play that type of game, like you're just a nice person who likes to give things, and you don't want someone toying with your emotions like over gifts, you know, any type of gift. It could be a literal gift. Like you could have bought this person like an actual like I don't know birthday present or something or Christmas present or you know what I mean you could have bought this person an actual physical gift or you, you could have just sent them something cute sent them like a I don't know like a picture of something you drew them a picture anything creator it could be anything but it was creative I want to say so melancholy yeah this person might yeah I'm thinking you think of someone who who's up and down up and down up and down they're kind of like I want to say a roller coaster. They might be down right now. Maybe you're not talking to them. Like the study card that maybe you're busy. And the star is at the six of cups. So this is likely someone that you've known for a bit. I want to say five years or more. Like actively. You might have lived with them. With harmony in the, in the card there. You might live together. Or you might have used to live together. And it was like you guys had, you know what I mean? Like there was a, there was a, a, a living situation. Because the house too, in harmony. And it was depressing. I want to say down, depressing on you. For, I don't know what this person did. But stars, it made you, I want to say look elsewhere. It made you want to look elsewhere. So like if this was a roommate, then, um, then it made you want a different roommate. If this was a, like a boyfriend girlfriend, like a like a you know a partner, it made you want a different partner. If it was a spouse, it made you want a, a different spouse. It made you want to move. There you go. It made you want to leave the house. It made you want to move. The new keys. You know, get the keys card. Yeah. Protective. Conserve what you have. Save a little. So, when when outcome is forecasted. So maybe this is someone that's that is that you used to live with, and they're going to be taking you to court over something because that could happen with anyone not just with um with uh, marriages any type of separation it could even be um just the separation of a uh, personal belongings someone else's maybe even like an inheritance something like that like someone someone has to separate some belongings and whatever either way they're saying that you're protected you know we have spirit protection and retreat that's what i was telling you like you choose not to like, take action against this person you kind of just let this person lead with like their commands like I want this and I want that and give me this and give me that you know and you're just like whatever you want to say you're just like just take it you know protection you're you're taking what you have and you it's not a lot but you're you're fine with it goddess healing feminine energy so yeah you're likely coming out of a really like um you're coming from something like this. Yeah, this is um this is like some life stuff. Like this is some stuff for you for for like you know, like a you know, part of your past. This is likely a, a, I wanna say a karmic. Guys, don't talk about karmics because it doesn't really come up. But this is like someone that was put in your life to 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 I wanna say to destroy you, but not literally. I mean maybe but um they were they were put in your life to to cause a problem. So that you could recognize that as a problem in people and then avoid it for yourself so that you can find 
a, a, a you know a, a better I don't know better people in your life things like this better love better self love things like that so it's like you're on some type of you know path like that you know and you're gonna have people like that in your life so this person's intention I want to say is to just take everything they can from you okay you name it you name it they take it and you're a sustainer so it's like you're gonna you're just gonna hold your hold your shit down and you're just gonna take and with it take it and let them have it like you're just gonna let them take that reconnect secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods so that's making me think about their private sexy thoughts about you deep and deep 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 back in the mind you know, okay this person will drop everything to do you end of discussion something about trading off sexual favors or gestures or things like this you know like little gift things like that for 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 gift items like some type of sex exchange for items that was going down here so this person might really really find you super sexy and they might want to they might in their back of their mind they they wish they could just at least be this might have been someone with friends with benefits, I'm thinking, too. This, that's what, something I forgot to acknowledge. That definitely could be a friends with benefits situation. And this person, like, basically sees you as something to, I want to say, um, you know what I mean? Keep. Like, you're valuable. You're like a gift. And they see that. So it's like, they want to keep keep you, but they, they want to, I don't know, they, something about reconnecting. They definitely keep secrets and secrets are that they really want to they want to do you and I guess with or without gifts they still would want to have sex with you I think that's what I, they want to let you know that you know I guess maybe they don't want to make you feel unattractive or something they're not like no it's not like I was only doing it because of well, we got light so I guess that's the truth they're like it's not like I was only doing giving things doing this to get things from you you know so this person is like, I wasn't doing that. I was just trying to include that. That's what they're saying. Because I guess I did mention it. So not all of you. Some of you, this person is clarifying the scene. They're like, no, no, no. We weren't exchanging for that. I just wanted to do that too. And if that's not included, then I don't want nothing to do with this person. And I want everything that's owed to me from whatever we're separating from. Like a friends with benefits turned bad. A roommate that maybe you were sleeping with a roommate, like a roommate situation where you guys were sleeping with each other and it was like friends with benefits, but y'all live together. Something like this, by the way. But deep in the back of their minds, they, 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 they think about reconnecting with you. Okay. Light. You look to the space between the trees for answers. So yeah, the goddess energy, fe healing feminine energy. So this might have been, okay, you could be a masculine. This is resonating with men right now, masculine energy. Not that you're ma masculine, but this is towards someone who, okay, no, excuse me. This is towards, this is more clean. It's towards someone who's dealing with a negative feminine energy, okay? Like this person that you're dealing with was a woman, and they're very negative, they're nasty. Look at them, they're, yeah, let's say. But they're the person, they're the, they're the, the person in the scene. And because it says healing feminine energy, so you're, you're basically protecting yourself from this person. Hoping for the best with win-win outcome, you're hoping for the best, and you're protecting yourself, and you're conserving your yourself, and you might have private sexy thoughts about them too, but you're definitely protecting yourself from that because you don't want to, you don't want to get involved with that. You want to stay, I guess, you want to stay on your path, healing feminine energy. So it's like you're healing from the feminine, the nastiness that they did to you, like. And it was like a feminine nasty energy that they, they were pu pushing on you, you know? And light, so that's more like meditation and relaxing. So it's like, that's all you trying to do. What this person wants, what's their intentions? I want to say to try to take you to court and take everything you got, you know? But are they going to do that? I don't know, because I mean, we have sweet asylum. So they might be a little over dramatic of a person. And with Aries, it's like I said, like they pop off and then they calm down. So they might be saying this or thinking this or feeling this right now like this is like their mood but they could easily probably flow out of it with some clarity so maybe if you just talk with this person and give them some open-minded understandings and stuff it might open bright paths to the future you know it might settle this and ha might have a deep zone so you know what i mean such a big deal let the sun come out with the sunshine here 
So I hope that uh, that helps. That's everything I got for you. Okay. I hope you enjoy. Option three, the Crimean, okay? People are dirty, but that's how they all are. They all got like black spots in them. But it's really pretty. It's like an orangish pink, right? Maybe you're someone that likes that color. Maybe you can fire some, do something with this. So who is your enemy and what is it that they did to, you know, what are their intentions towards you? I always say there's a misunderstanding. There's some type of misunderstanding that's making you think that this person's an enemy or that's making you think that they even have intentions towards you. So you might have this person, that this person might be an enemy, but they don't actually necessarily have intentions towards you, I want to say. So they might just be someone that don't like you, but they ain't thinking about you like that. They just don't like you. I mean, it's just, they're not plotting against you, something like this. I'm not sure, you know, because we got the thread, okay? So this could just be someone that's, um, I want to say like a soulmate or like a karmic or something like this, you know, like there's a pull with this person and the womb. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the thread. There is a tie to this person. You have a tie to this person and likely it's, um, with creator too. Creator and the womb and the thread. Okay. And with harmony in the corner, it's someone like this being like a house, a home, homemaker and friendship. So it's making me think of a past relationship with the rainbow here. It doesn't have to be same sex. It could, I mean, it doesn't have to be a uh, classic uh, male and female, like husband and wife scene, but it's definitely a family scene most likely because we have the womb card and the creator. So it's like there was a creation of harmony and family and friendship and something, a gift, something about a gift. Okay. the heart so yeah that's what I'm saying I have a feeling maybe you just think this person might be an enemy. some of you just you just think this person is an enemy and some of you this person's just someone maybe that you don't like maybe you just maybe they're just your enemy dare I say I don't know because they're not really coming in as an enter en en as an as an enemy Gemini okay so that's what I'm saying with the thread and Gemini, okay, and harmony. This is like someone you just might, this just might be some back and forth stuff. Like, I want to say this might be someone you're related to as well. This could be someone like a brother or a sister. You guys might share the same mother. You know what I mean? Something like that. Okay, and you might have shared the same home and you were forced to have harmony. So they might be a, a, a girl. If, it, if there's a girl, maybe she's more st someone's like a stuck up feminine energy. So the heart. So they, uh, this is someone with the key to your heart. I want to say they have the key to your heart. Three of Pylon, clarity. Bright paths of understanding are open. And it's time to take action. And Gemini, that's interesting. Gemini is June and destiny. So maybe something's happening next month for you. Whenever you watch this video, June is the next month for me. It's like a half a month away. Yeah. So yeah, that's, and then it's going to be Gemini season soon. So yeah, like within the next month, some, something, I don't know, something with destiny. Okay. Slow grind. That's what I'm saying. I don't think this person is an enemy at all. This is someone that, I'm gonna say, maybe they want you to think. This is like this is like a secret admirer slash nemesis. I want to say, but why would you click it if they're not an enemy? I don't know, but this person is not an enemy. Surprise! Surprises under the most ordinary stone is an undeserved garden. So I think you're absolutely shocked. You thought for sure this person hated you or was your enemy or something, creator in the top here. I have a feeling you sat around thinking about all those terrible things with the womb. It's like so much creation. 
Yeah, you thought this person absolutely hated you. But no, the key, the answer is they want to give you, okay? That lady is like going like this, okay? Manifest money and income. That's with the womb and the creator card. I feel like this person thinks that you could co-create together. See how they ride off in the boat together? It's like they go together and do something together. So for those of you that's not resonating with someone, you got slow grind. It's definitely someone that wants to go and baby in you. <laughs> Maybe put baby in you, all right, or vice versa. I don't know. Okay, I, it's also just, okay, if no babies are involved because if people ain't trying to have babies right now because you do got manifesting money and income, that's not babies, okay? This is saying, like, getting cummed in so it's like there's some coming in the womb happening or wanting to be happened a thread like a pull to do it a, a, a call like come and do that so that's why it's like y'all might not be wanting to have a baby y'all harmony they might just be trying to get along i want to say and have a good time but surprise it's like be careful if you ever do okay surprises careful because you might end up pregnant because there's a deep seed deep seated urge okay like imagine this color ah my chin imagine this color flaming from your from here okay <sighs> okay because it wants it right naturally it's just something in you it, you, you both got on something with your astrology because of this right it makes it want it makes y'all want it okay Spirits, you guys have good spirits. Security, choose a safe harbor for now. That's, I don't think you believe me. You're like, I'm still gonna protect myself and stay safe. Okay, that's fine. I destiny, you can't run from it. You know, it, whatever. If that's what this is, this person's not an enemy. They're just someone that really likes you. Wants to do you really bad. I want to slow grind you. Mm. Like, mm. oh my God, like deep. Mountain, Eight of Wands. Okay, they want to deep. They want to take you to a mountain, I guess. They want to ride off with you and just do you all the time. But they're, I don't. It's time to take action. It's like, but I don't think they're going to. It's a blockage. This isn't something that they're trying to necessarily do. Clarity. Yeah, with destiny and heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. This person's just like you then. This person's the same exact way, choosing the safe harbor for now. This person might even, with the Gemini card, okay, this person might be mirroring you. That's making me think of an Aries Venus. Like, could you imagine if two people had their Venuses match? It's like, it, it, and you have an Aries Venus. Aries Venus is like, so, you know what I mean? Like, so particular. And then it's like, they're both like that. Like, they're both waiting for the other to impress the other, but they both really want to fucking do each other. It's like eventually they're gonna, someone's gonna, they're gonna start impressing each other, I guess, by y'all are gonna start impressing each other by accident. And this might actually pow, this you might actually get to do the damn thing and sustain her. My god, you guys are gonna have some really like slow grind me is right. Very with the strong <laughs> the destroyer underneath. <laughs> okay. They want to just destroy that pussy. That's basically what it is. They want you to come destroy the pussy. They want, I don't know, they want to destroy the pussy. The pussy, it, it wants, I don't know, something about destroying the pussy. And I'm not getting into it. That's what I'm saying with this wound card. It's like, rip the underwear off, yank the pants down, and get it in there. It's like, oh my God, like surprise sex almost. Like, you know, that's what this is. This isn't an enemy. Oh my goodness. Delicate though. That's what I'm saying. You guys are just following your paths choosing to, you guys are protecting yourselves, okay? This could be any any type of relationship, even when there isn't a rainbow, but when I see the rainbow, I feel the need to specify it because th there doesn't have to be a ding-dong here to make that womb go crazy, I want to say, or, you know what I mean? There doesn't have to be a womb in the room. <laughs> there doesn't have to be a womb in the room. There doesn't got to be no womb in the room to make the boner go, to make the boner go up. So that's what I'm saying. This could be same sexes too. It's someone that you just feel a pull to and... I don't know, Clover, okay, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is very balanced and fair, a giver, I wanna say, this person's a giver. 
doctor underneath this person, like, that person is sexually abused. Okay, so I don't know why that popped out. If you treat spoil, it's like, oh, I'm spoiling you. I'm so sexually, they're going to spoil you. Oh my God, the last person was just not about that. This person is all about that. Yeah, clarity. They might not have never opened up to you about this. So maybe if there is mirroring, maybe you've been feeling this like intense, oh my God, or like mm, passion for this person. You might not have mentioned it. Like maybe this person gives you like an instant boner or just, oh my God, just talking with this person like or thinking about things or maybe just like flirting with this person might just make you instantly wet or something make you feel like, mm, you know, you might have to go tr retreat and then go spoil yourself if you know what I mean, okay? So I'm just saying it's something like that, but it's the thing that this person does too. And they want you to come take action. They they want, they want, yeah, they want the key, like masculine or feminine, they want the key to go in, you know? And, and they want it, they want to do it. Are you guys going to? Is this actually going to be talked about? I don't know. It's a delicate situation. I don't know. We got ring behind the lady. So it's like, it could end up being someone that you want to marry. Like maybe, maybe the sex is so good you want to marry them. Or, like I said, you this might, oh, real quick after playing all this out. Well, let me finish my sentence. This could also be, like I said, if you guys end up, do end up sleeping together, then you might end up with a surprise pregnancy. That's what I say. And then that's where the, the, the ring card comes in at the end with the key at the end again. So that's the more answer. So that's definitely some of y'all's story that you might end up sleeping with this person, get a surprise pregnancy. And then um, I guess you realize that you got, I guess that right there, like a one night stand pregnancy, something like this. You know what I mean? And it, but it was it was part of your destiny. And if that's, if that's the case, it's like, um, yeah, this person's meant to be in your life. It was a good surprise, I want to say. It was one of those blessings, you know? Babies are those blessings. So it's like, they're always, it's always a blessing. Manifesting money and income, that may be the, spread, that may be the, the center of it all. So now you're like, I need money. So that's what I'm saying. That's for some of you for, like, the possibilities of the future. If you're not trying to have a child, there's still that sexual drive that ends up accidentally causing having a baby. And it's going to get tequila when you drink too much tequila. Tequila is like... The number one baby maker in America, all right? Tequila. I got a bottle of tequila. I'm going to drink that bottle one day. Will I end up with a baby? I hope not. I hope I don't end up with a baby. But that would require another person, so I don't know. But my point is, is that this is like, for some of you, this could be an enemy that you did have a one-night stand with. They did get pregnant. Y'all had some uncontrollable urge to have some sex. And you did, and it was unprotected, I want to say. Maybe it happened a few times. Who knows? It doesn't quite matter. But the, the fact is, is that, surprise, bitch, I'm pregnant, is what I'm hearing. It's like she's walking up to this door, and she's like, ding dong. You know? Guess what? Surprise, I'm pregnant. And you might not believe it. So you're like, this person might be an enemy. Da, 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 da. This person's not an enemy at the end of the day. Why you're here? I don't know quite know why the story is. It revolves around a womb. Queen cards, and creation and passion and sex and hearts and threads it's like soulmates and keys and clarity. So clarity first and foremost and spirit. It was guided. Destiny. So this person's not your enemy. Definitely. There's not, there's no energy of that, of them being hating you, you know, or being your enemy, but what's their intentions towards you? I want to say to tell you that they're pregnant, okay, or to just, if, 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 if this is someone that you've never slept with, to tell you that, the, mm, I want to say that they tell you that they just want to, they want you deep, they want, they want to go deep, they want to be deep, they want to, they want to make a baby, with or without the baby, I don't know how, how, like, you guys might be dating and, like, you know what I mean? You might, this might be someone that you have a commitment to that you already plan on wanting to marry. Like, this is already, like, someone that's, that's who that is for you. They're just, they're saying, I don't know, whatever. That doesn't matter. Point is, that's the, that's the big, that's the big intention to do you, sex with you. So, unless they've already had the sex with you and you don't talk to this person more, then they're, and you see them as an enemy, then their intention is to tell you that they're pregnant, probably. 
or to just tell you that they're not an enemy, they just only want to do you some more good. That's basically it. So I hope that gave you some answers and some insight. We have retreat here with security. So like when this person, if this person ever does approach you, I have a feeling that you're going to run away from them. And you're going to want to run away and think about it. And that's fine. It's destiny though. So it's like if they're meant to be there, they're going to come back. If they're not meant to be there, they're going to go away. So handle it how you see fit. Make yourself comfortable. Worry about you. Okay. Make yourself safe. Security. Yeah. Choose a safe harbor. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.